G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and I'm down the back in the quail pen today. I know it's been a while since I've produced a quail video and some of you have been trolling me in the comments section of other videos saying things like quail, question mark, when's your next quail video mark? And I understand that plenty of you are subscribed to the channel for the quail videos only, but can I just say that a lot of my gardening videos and other videos relate back to quail anyway because I use the quail manure and those type of things and even the eggs sometimes in the compost piles and into the garden beds for compost and fertilizer so you know watch those gardening videos because I mention quail all the time. One of the questions I got the other day from one of you guys was how many quail do I need in order to sustain my family and you know have a meal or so a week of quail if you're keeping them for meat? And that's a very good question, and it's not something that I've really covered before. So without any further ado, let's just get stuck into it. All right, first of all, this pen that I'm sitting in here can hold probably around about 100 quail if we wanted to. At the moment, we've got about 12 birds, a couple of males and the rest females. Let's not get too complicated in this video. I've done plenty of other videos on drinkers and feeders and breeding quail. Those things you can find out through my other videos or of course you can ask questions down below. If you're interested in keeping quail just for the eggs, like you would keep chickens for eggs, well then at the end of this video, I'll talk a little bit about keeping quail just for eggs. Let's establish a few facts. Firstly, a female quail usually lays one egg a day. Also, when it comes to eating quail, you might think they're a small bird, but generally, if you're talking about meat, you can count on one bird per person. I know that doesn't sound like much, but quail meat in itself is higher in protein than chicken meat, and there are more, it's a more dense meat. Therefore, you don't eat as much of it, because when you're eating quail, you tend to get full quicker. Personally, I'll only eat one quail in a sitting. I won't eat any more than that. I won't feel like eating any more than that, that's for sure. So if I can work off that, then we can establish how many people quail can feed. You can usually collect eggs over a 10 day period before you incubate them all at once. But in this example, we'll collect them over a seven day period to make it a nice round number of one week. Hatching out of quail takes around 16 to 18 days. So you can say just under three weeks. So working off those figures, let's see if we can establish how much produce we can make out of a certain number of quail. When breeding quail, we usually work off a ratio of five females to one male. But let's say that male isn't doing a great job. I would say we should add another male to that and make it two males per five females. That ratio is usually fairly good. The males might quibble occasionally, but if it's in a large pen like this, it's not going to matter. They'll be able to get out of each other's way. But then you'll know for sure that at least those five females are getting serviced. So let's say five females and two males. Let's work with that and see how much food that can produce. So let's say those five females lay one egg a day. That's five eggs a day seven days a week, so we're going to collect those eggs after the seven days. Seven by five is 35 eggs, and we're going to collect them and incubate them. But let's say, let's use a conservative number, that out of those 35 eggs, 10 of them, which is quite possible, are no good. They might be broken, uh, infertile, dirty, and no good for incubation. So let's get rid of those 10 and take it down to 25 eggs in that seven day period. So we're now gonna incubate those 25 eggs. When you incubate eggs, it's not often that every egg that you put in the incubator turns into be a live chick. Most of the time, you will lose a percentage. And the amount of eggs that do hatch out successfully is called a hatch rate. A good hatch rate generally is between 60 to, you would say, 100%. Anything under, 
It is a little ordinary, but you can work with it and it happens. But let's work off a hatch rate lower to be more conservative at around 60%. So let's say 60% of those 25 eggs actually hatched out. At a hatch rate of 60%, you're looking at 15 chicks out of the 25 eggs actually hatching out and making it to the brooder. So now you're brooding 15 chicks. And that's only after 18 days or just under three weeks of incubation, you've got 15 live chicks. Out of those 15 live chicks, you would expect to lose a few of them. So let's say you lose three of those 15. That leaves you with 12 chicks out of the 15. So you can work with the 12 chicks. You raise those 12 chicks, it usually takes between six to nine weeks before quail chicks turn into an adult. It's around the six to nine week mark, usually the nine week mark, where they're at their prime and ready to be eaten. For a family of four, 12 adult quail means three quail each. So three separate meals, having one quail each around the dinner table. Therefore, if you add the incubation time onto the growing time, you're looking at, say three, give or take a week, you're looking at three weeks or so for the incubation stage and another nine weeks for the growing stage before they're processed. All up, you're looking at 12 weeks to get those 12 adult quail to that stage. In essence, five female quails plus two males, so that's seven birds altogether. Just seven birds could provide a family of four a meal of quail once a month for three months. And that's really just a conservative figure. So if five female quails can give a family of four one meal a month, you can multiply that and say 10 quail will give a family of four, two meals a month, and 20 quail would give a family of four a meal of quail once a week. And within this estimate, I'm also allowing for the breeder to be able to refresh their stock. So not all of those quail that you produce will go on the dinner plate. Some of them will be there just to refresh your stock once a year or so, so that you can keep refreshing that stock over every 12 to two years so that they keep producing well. Because remember, quail don't live that long, usually around two to three years, uh, and then your breeding stock will stop producing uh, and also start deteriorating or dying off. Now, if you're gonna keep quail just for the egg production, which is a pretty good plan, quail eggs to me are a little stronger than chicken eggs and uh, I like them as a cocktail or in Asian cooking. Have the quail egg for a snack or something like that. Pickled quail eggs are nice, but I'm not a big fan of having them every day or a couple of times a week like we do chicken eggs. I actually prefer, prefer the taste of chicken eggs personally, but some people really love quail eggs. And the beauty of quail is that you can keep more of them in a smaller place. You know, even, people even keep quail in apartments in small cages and they can quite happily live there and produce eggs for them. So if you're just going to keep them for eggs, you could say five quail for a family of four. Five quail eggs is usually roughly equivalent to one chicken egg. So if they're laying an egg a day, you could say just roughly eating eggs a couple of times a week for four people. Five to ten quail would be plenty to sustain them in eggs a few times a week, quail eggs and bacon or whatever. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that video on doing the calculations of how many quail you need to sustain a family of four. Work on those figures to meet whatever requirement you have, the size of your family or how many birds you'd like to eat or whatever. If you have any comments or questions on keeping quail, whack them down below and I'll be happy to answer them, especially in the first few days after the video is released. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up, share it around. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.